Stories from the Heart, presented by Fidelis Care. Quality health coverage. It's our mission. Call 1-888-FIDELIS or visit FidelisCare.org. A cancer diagnosis can, of course, be devastating. And for so many women going through treatments like chemo, it can make them question their beauty. And tonight's Stories from the Heart, which was sent to us by one of our viewers, Tamsin Fidel, introduces us to one local organization helping ladies across the country feel gorgeous inside and out. Do you prefer wearing a bold lip? Do you like a light color? If you look good, you feel good. That's what today is all about at Bang Salon. And it's a day to reboot. It's also a time to relax recover and reflect for Mary Ann Fernandez. I'm halfway through my treatments. I just got diagnosed in September. This mother and longtime artist is battling stage one breast cancer. This has been a crazy year for me. I opened a yoga studio and then when I was at my healthiest, constantly practicing yoga, living yoga, I get the diagnosis. She had a lumpectomy and is currently undergoing chemotherapy. I get nauseous, tired. More than anything, I get very sad. Feelings Marianne tries to work through every day. You face mortality. You face mortality anyway on a daily basis, but now it just seems a little bit more in your face. I think every day is a gift, so we're never sure what's going to happen tomorrow. A perspective Peggy Madsen and Debbie Sestokas know too well. We're both cancer survivors, and like a lot of uh, people that are cancer survivors, we wanted to give back in some way. The two met while volunteering for the American Cancer Society. They came up with the idea of providing a fabulous full spa day for women battling cancer. Debbie and I started Do You For Day in 2010, and it really is a program for women that are going through a cancer diagnosis any cancer to, to kind of take a break from all the stresses that comes along with the cancer diagnosis. All divas are nominated through their website by family or friends. We don't discriminate on cancer. It's any type of cancer. We don't look at age. We don't look at financial need. The only thing we really look at is the critical time of when you need it the most. Five years later, the New Jersey-based nonprofit has honored nearly 600 women across the country, all with the help of more than 40 salons, dozens of volunteers, and hundreds of generous donations. Excited, you know, actually grateful, super grateful. This is something really nice. For Mary Ann and all the ladies, it's more than just a day at the spa, though. It's being able to focus on me and my healing and my and myself for a few hours, not have to worry. A day to yourself is a treat. And the best way she feels to express her appreciation is a simple thank you, like thank you, thank you, thank you, a million thank yous. <laughs> We want to know who you're thankful for, so share your stories from the heart on our website or with us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter using the hashtag Pix11Heart.